Mr. Bezos, man, Mr. Bezos, man. All right. So we've been talking about the flippening happening here. And as part of the flippening, there's been more of a, there's been kind of a revealing of some of the sentiments of the technocratic oligarchs of the U.S., Jeff Bezos being one of them. Ah, yes. And yeah. on May 13th, that was last Friday, Jeff Bezos a quote tweeted Joe Biden. Joe Biden's uh, tweet said here, you want to bring oh, down inflation? Oh, this is a big move. You want to bring down inflation? Let's make sure the wealthiest corporations pay for some, some, some. Right, right, right. This, no, then, this was actually an important quote. I, I could not help but comment on it. Yes, he was saying, <laughs> right. if we want to lower inflation, again, Biden's superpower here is blaming everybody but himself for the problems he creates. Mm-hmm. And uh, first it was the Republicans, then it was Putin, and then it was the Republicans again, and then it was whatever Elon. And uh, in this one, he said, "If you want to, if we want to fix inflation, we got to get corporations to pay taxes." Mm-hmm. It's like I don't, I can't tell if you don't know what inflation means or what taxes are. <laughs> I really can't. I think tell. it's both. I think it's both. Uh, yeah, yeah. And Bezos sort of touches on that. Bezos retweets Joe Biden and says, "The newly created disinformation board should review this tweet, or maybe they need to form a new non sequitur board instead." Ooh, burn! Honestly, Raising the best corp- tweet Jeff Bezos has ever done. I, I mean, know. It's I, exactly I've, right. I've never we felt need- so close to the man. <laughs> Like, what did you, did you listen to our show? What is going on? Raising corp taxes is fine to discuss. Taming inflation is critical to discuss. Mushing them together is just misdirection. Yeah. You know, wow. I, I, my whole sort of re- uh, reaction to this was, man, when we have an American technocratic oligarch making more economic sense than our president, that's where we're at today in this country. <laughs> Yeah, Which is not a great place to be. You know say. what's interesting is sort of the power that is derived from both of them comes from uh, misdirection, economic misdirection. Yeah, yeah. You know, economic misdirection is sort of the the trick that both of them need to play on the public, and to have them sort of it's like a battle of magicians. Right. Like who can trick? the people more it's like they're yeah. you know some weird harry potter battle they're having but here. you know uh, jeff bezos uh, the, the the technocratic oligarchs the tech oligarchs as i would like to call them sure uh, <laughs> you've never called them that but okay i will start to call them that from now on the <laughs> tech oligarchs uh they they probably have a better uh feel for sentiment public sentiment the yeah, data right. that they receive and collect and whatever are probably better in terms of more accurate. Uh, oh yeah, than the, what the emperors, the emperors of data, the the ma- magical merchants of data would have way better info mm-hmm. on the sent the public sentiment than the president would, which uses archaic phone polling <laughs> from, you know, from Washington, D.C. So, yeah, I would trust Bezos's uh, data way before. Which, which Biden. speaks to the possibility of why we're seeing all these tech oligarchs uh, move in the more conservative stance on things on they policy, are moving that way aren't they we've so, seen it with elon and we're seeing it with bezos now there was a little bit of a back and forth uh, Be- bezos continued on in fact and this is a, re- a retweeting a neoliberal uh uh twitter account here and uh, jeff bezos says in fact the administration tried to inject even more stimulus into an already overheated inflationary economy and only mansion saved them from themselves inflation is a regressive tax that most hurts the least affluent misdirection doesn't help the country which yeah. is like oh my gosh he's why, why is bezos speaking truth about the the economic <sighs> issues of our country i can't really even well. help it like the even the even the rhetoric of misdirection mm-hmm. i mean that is a that is a magician's term it is 
It is. They are, he's giving away the game. I know. Well, this is, we're starting to see it very transparently. Uh, yeah. And then Yahoo reported uh, or mirrored the insider, the insider headline, the White House fires back at Jeff Bezos saying it doesn't require a huge leap to understand why he opposed an economic agenda that taxes the super rich. Wow. So doubling down on the They're Biden. They're just getting into it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, this, uh, whoa. <laughs> Uh, just the talking points on that White House criticized Bezos spokesperson said it didn't require a huge leap to understand why Bezos resisted tax hikes. Bezos lambasted the White House for pushing a plan he said would worsen inflation. And, uh, and then I think, I think this is, um, I don't know why mm. I think this, this feels a bit disingenuous or it feels about something else. Yes. You know, we've seen Bezos sort of battle the government recently, throw some tantrums that he doesn't get uh, the the, the uh, contracts for. Yeah, um, yeah. He's for, the, uh, for government contracts. Stuff. Right. There's the issues. Well, there's also the issues with uh, Amazon unionizing right, recently. Right, right. And uh, the anti-unionization efforts that Jeff Bezos is uh, in sort of practicing right now. Mm -hmm. Uh, And then you have the Biden sort of union excitement. He considers himself a union guy. He's a union guy. And they said uh, that they would not do any business. They would not give any government contracts to companies that uh, that are participating in union busting. So... There's a big campaign to get Biden to drop Amazon for a lot of government contracts. Uh, The problem is that with a lot of these government contracts, and some of them are military contracts, some of them are intelligence contracts, there's a bunch of secret stuff that Bezos is doing for the government. Uh, But you've got a bunch of social justice warriors telling Biden that he's got to, he's too friendly with Bezos. Maybe this is all just sort of, again, uh, in in the sort of milieu of magicians, mm-hmm. it's like a, a fake a misdirection. K-fab. Yeah, it's a kayfabe. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. All right, sorry so, to ramble. No, it's all right. Um, yeah, good points. It, it says here, Bezos criticized President Joe Biden's administration for trying to pass a social and climate spending package once known as Build Back Better. Once uh, known. Uh, and then the Bloomberg UK headline here, Larry Summers sides with Biden in Twitter spat with Jeff Bezos. So again, now sides. is this Jeff, is this Joe Biden's personal account or yeah, is this well, the, the first uh, tweet, yeah. presidential account? I think the it's yeah. At Joe Biden. So yes. It's okay. His personal account. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That does make a difference by the way. Um, yeah, it does. Um, so, yes. Yeah, so, so anyway, so we got uh, we got the government firing back at Bezos. Now, Bezos responds again here. <laughs> I love that Jeff Bezos took a screenshot from an article that says uh, here's a screenshot. Let me just read the screenshot first. Whoa. Why is it so big? It says, quote, it doesn't require a huge leap to figure. It's the quote from the guy, the full quote. It doesn't require a huge leap to figure out why one of the wealthiest individuals on Earth opposes an economic agenda for the middle class that cuts some of the biggest costs Families face fights inflation for the long haul and adds to the historic deficit reduction the president is achieving by asking <laughs> what deficit, deficit reduction reduction yeah okay um, by asking the richest taxpayers and corporations to pay their fair share it's also unsurprising that this tweet comes after the president met with labor organizers including Amazon employees. By and, the way, yeah. that deficit reduction is another, another magic mis- trick. It's a misdirection, yeah. Misdirection, <laughs> yeah. Because the, the people, when they hear deficit reduction, they'll probably think uh, the national debt the national reduction. National debt's going down, right. That's right. not it. But that's not what that is. Deficit just means he plans on spending less money right. than you know previous than the previous budget. It just means he made the budget smaller. Yeah. Which is a conservative thing to do. It is not a, you know, liberal democrat socialist thing to do to limit spending. Yeah. He's just he's just asking for less money for the national budget at the same time he's we're a historic president 50, slashing 50 billion dollars slashing. The, right. So yeah. Bezos responds to this quote and he says and this is a tweet. Look, a squirrel. 
This is the <laughs> White House's statement about my recent tweets. They understandably want to muddy the topic. They know inflation hurts the neediest the most, but unions aren't causing inflation, and neither are wealthy people. Remember, the administration tried... It goes on. Their best to add another $3.5 trillion to federal spending. They failed, but if they had succeeded, inflation would be even higher than it is today, and inflation today is at a 40-year high. So, you know, yeah. and it's very fascinating because... As you said, sort of this staged thing, the the economic warfare, when you hyper inf- or you know move towards hyperinflation, these billionaires are losing purchasing power by right. them and and by yeah. large scale too because you know they have a lot more money, they have a lot more capital and you know investments and all that kind of stuff, assets. Yeah. And so, so they're they're eight percent inflation, which is a conservative it's number. Not, it's way more uh, than that, but yeah, yeah which is an eight percent inflationary. The thing for uh, for a billionaire is like he's losing billions of dollars. Yeah, but yes, exactly. Yeah, I mean, yeah, something that costs one dollars eight bucks. That's crazy for us, but for them, it's they're literally losing that purchasing power. So of course they're going to at least make it look like they're fighting for the other side or trying to right. to retain or maintain their their power with their wealth. So yeah, I I don't I don't know. It's just very interesting to see people take sides on these issues. Well. What I love about it is uh, Elon Bezos, the the techno oligarchs. Yeah, uh, they love taking liberal stances on things when times are good. Right. But when times start getting tight, they immediately <laughs> reveal. It's... They take off their their virtue signaling mask and uh, reveal themselves. When to it be... affects the bottom line, and the in, yeah, if it goes negative, if it's moving down, right. mm-hmm. yeah, certain policy. If it's all up and up, then love great. It. And 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 Biden's the same way. Same like way. I said, these yeah. these policies that he is uh, enacting and 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 bragging about lowering the deficit, which is <laughs> kind of a silly thing to brag about. Uh, you know, it's, it's all a very sort of conservative mindset. Yeah. So the pendulum is swinging very hard and fast, aggressively, aggressively yeah. swinging to the other side. <laughs> 